I have the perfect solution for you folks out there who always have problems with their roommates. You know, like unsanitary problems. Like they leave their crusty pennies around or stink boxes, drawers around. They always leaving food on the couch table, under their beds, their dirty socks, always stinking and all over the place. Their shoes stink, smell like dead rats. They, they, they use the kitchen cook and they don't ever clean. They don't ever wash their dirty dishes. They're just so trifling. All you do is complain to us, your friends about it because I have people who complain. Oh, my roommate is so dirty she stinks she don't take a shower oh he stinks he don't take a shower let me tell you something that that roommate of yours is crazy but he or she cannot be the only crazy person you can run them out of there too when i was in the navy i was i was out to a school you know and this is where we learn our trade whatever well i had a roommate and i didn't like her attitude as for her she wasn't dirty okay she wasn't dirty but i just didn't like her attitude okay she always used to act like she's better than me or something that's all ugly helpful she always, always acting like she's better than me she doesn't want to talk to me she doesn't want to communicate with me she oh my god she was just she, i didn't like her so I know I'm lactose intolerant, see? Um, and I just, I knew I could do something to get rid of her just because, you know, hey, she made me uncomfortable. I was gonna make her uncomfortable too. I'm very lactose intolerant. When I drink milk and I pass gas, the whole neighborhood will run away. They will have to be gone for a whole week before they come back to their homes because it will leave my home and spread all in the uh, air outside. It's just that bad, it stinks. So I went and bought me some milk. I drank me two glasses of milk. Like right around afternoon time when I know, because anytime I do it, it takes a few hours before it kicks in and it, uh, yeah, mm hmm So I drank it around, around about, you know, late afternoon and then in the evening I knew I was going to race hell in that room. <clears throat> she came home, she lay down, never, they didn't even speak to me and I'm just looking like, yeah, I'm going to take care of that tonight. So she lay down, she's reading her book with her little goofy glasses, looking like she's some kind of clever girl. And I just lay there. And uh, this time I made sure I didn't put my cover over me. And you know when the fart is really stink, it don't make any sound. It comes out like this. And it's usually hot. Hot to the point you feel a little bit of burn on your, mm, on your, around your, yeah. So. I lay there and started releasing the air, man. I'm telling you, it was so stink. It was so stink. If there were any flies in that room, it would die. It would just fall down and die. So I, I'm laying on my stomach, acting like I'm sleeping, but I'm facing her. And every now and then, I'll just, I'll just try to peek and see what her reaction. And this girl is dying. She's dying from my oh she's dying from my funky but she's just she she don't know she, she don't know what to say she knows she can't talk to me because she act like she don't like me she can't stand me and you know no 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 she's not going to talk to me because she, if she talk to me she knows she gonna get it hot so she don't she, she can't say nothing to me she knows she's smelling it she know the funk is making her sweat she knows she's just so disgusted she want to throw up right now she just she would look at me in disgust and I would just act like I'm sleeping and then I just start to laugh, man. So when she couldn't take it anymore, she just jumped up as, as if Snake was in her bed. She ran out of the barracks room. She went straight to the office. I bet she went and complained about this stinking booty African girl. She's nasty. I don't know what's wrong with her. She stinks. I want I want to get another room. She got she got her request. She she they moved her out. Oh, and I had the room to myself. <laughs> I had my boyfriend. Oh, we had a little hotel thing going. We had the whole room to ourselves. So if there's something you can do, hmm, to that night nasty roommate to make them want to go and request another roommate you can do it because if i were there and i drink my milk and i start releasing that toxic egg any roommate will get the hell out because even i cannot stand it because after she left i had to go catch me some fresh air yeah mm-hmm